Hi, welcome to Pathology Riddles. The topic we are going to discuss today is cell adaptation. So what are cell adaptations? They are cells response to adapt to changes in their environment. These are reversible changes. The changes can be in size, in number, in phenotype, in metabolic activity or in the functions of the cell. We shall discuss four cell adaptations and few points to note at the end of the video. So stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't done yet and do watch the cell injury video to know when the cell undergoes adaptation. The first cell adaptation is hypertrophy. So to define hypertrophy, hypertrophy is increase in size of the cells leading to increase in size of the affected organ. Based on the cause, we divide hypertrophy into physiological hypertrophy and pathological hypertrophy. Physiologic hypertrophy occurs due to increased functional demand, for example skeletal muscle hypertrophy in bodybuilders, or stimulation by hormones and growth factors, for example uterus smooth muscle hypertrophy in pregnancy. Pathological hypertrophy occurs due to increased workload, for example in heart. Due to hypertension or diseased valve, there is chronic hemodynamic overload. This causes ventricular muscle hypertrophy. Coming to the mechanism, the increased workload causes mechanical stretch of the cells which activates sensors on the cell membrane which increases the growth factor production leading to increased protein synthesis causing increased size of cell, better mechanical performance to cope with increased workload. Next adaptation is hyperplasia. Hyperplasia is increase in number of cells of a tissue or organ in response to a stimulus. Based on cause there can be two types physiological hyperplasia and pathological hyperplasia. So physiological hyperplasia occurs in circumstances where body requires hormone sensitive organs to increase their functional capacity. For example female breast at puberty and pregnancy. In circumstances like damage or resection of organ where compensatory increase in production of cell is required. For example, liver after partial hepatectomy or partial resection. Or bone marrow hyperplasia after acute episode of bleeding. Coming to pathological hyperplasia, it occurs due to inappropriate or excessive action of hormones or growth factors on target cells. For example, endometrial hyperplasia due to increased estrogen or benign prostatic hyperplasia by androgen hormone stimulation. So the mechanism is increase in growth factor production stimulates increased proliferation of mature cells or increased output of the new cells from that particular tissue stem cells. So coming to the third adaptation which is atrophy. Atrophy is reduction in size of a tissue or organ due to decrease in cell size and number. <coughs> atrophy occurs due to pathological causes and physiological causes. So physiological causes include uh, those during development that is notochord and thyroglossal duct atrophy during fetal development. Pathological causes may include atrophy due to disuse that is due to immobilization of fracture. Now this will cause atrophy of the skeletal muscles which are used to Mobilize that particular joint. Denervation atrophy due to damage to nerves supplying the skeletal muscles. Again, these skeletal muscles will undergo atrophy. Atrophy due to diminished blood supply, for example, brain in old age due to atherosclerosis of arteries supplying it. Atrophy due to inadequate nutrition, for example, cachexia in cancer patients. And atrophy due to Loss of endocrine stimulation, for example, atrophic endometrium after menopause. There is pressure atrophy also of the tissue surrounding a benign mass. So the mechanism of atrophy. Decreased cellular protein synthesis due to reduction in metabolic activity. This There is increased cellular protein degradation by ubiquitin proteasome pathway where ubiquitin ligases will attach to ubiquitin to 
cell proteins and these ubiquitin cell proteins will be targeted for degradation in proteasomes. Coming to the last cell adaptation, it is metaplasia. Metaplasia is an adaptation in which one differentiated cell that is epithelial or mesenchymal is replaced by another differentiated cell type. For example, in cigarette smokers, ciliated columnar epithelium in trachea and bronchi are replaced by stratified squamous epithelial cells or in Barrett esophagus in which squamous epithelium is replaced by intestinal like columnar cells due to prolonged irritation by reflux gastric acids. So these are the four cell adaptations. I would also like to add four points to note in this particular subject. Cell adaptations are reversible. Point two, if stimulus for pathological hyperplasia persists, it constitutes a fertile soil in which cancer might occur. Point three, if stimulus for metaplasia persists, it can lead to malignant transformation in metaplastic epithelium. And point four, connective tissue metaplasia, that is formation of cartilage, adipose tissue or bone in non-native tissue, it does not occur as an adoptive response, but may be due to cell injury or tissue injury. So that's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, press the like button and comment. What would you like to see next? Thank you. Bye.